Hello all. In this video, let's discuss about food contamination. Now, food contamination is the presence of unwanted materials in food which can harm the public health. The material that is present in food that is doing this process or which is making this make food unfit for consumption is called as a food contaminant. So it's an unwanted substance. It should not be present in food. That is what we call as the food contaminant. Now, in this video, we'll talk about the types of food contaminants. And in the next one, we'll be talking about the sources of food contamination as well. When we see the types of contaminants, there are different types which can enter from any source. They can be, you know, introduced into the food from anywhere. But then you can group these contaminants, these unwanted materials under four major headings. The first one is biological contaminants, followed by chemical contaminants, physical and allergenic. Let's look at each one of these in detail. Now, the biological contaminants, we have spoken at length about this. It includes all the microorganisms which cause food spoilage as well as the food diseases, foodborne diseases. So it includes bacteria, fungi, viruses, protozoa, all algae, all the organisms which are known to cause the foodborne infections as well as the ones which cause food spoilage. We have already discussed what is the difference between food spoilage and foodborne infections. Now, you also in, this also includes biological contaminants, also includes insects and rodents and any other kind of critters, bird droppings, anything in the premises which can bring microorganisms as well. So that too is included under the biological contaminants. And let us now look at the other three types of contaminants in food. The next type of contaminant we have are the chemical contaminants. Now chemicals are introduced into the food from various sources and these chemicals can cause harm to the human body when we consume food that contains them. So it can include cleaning solutions which are frequently used for disinfection and if their residue is present on the food preparation surface or on the equipment, on the kitchen equipment or even if you spray a chemical very close to an uncovered food item, then that is an example of a chemical which is now contaminating your food, a chemical which has now got introduced into the food and should not be there normally. It also includes fertilizers and pesticides which are sprayed on the vegetables and fruits in the field. So the residues of these chemical fertilizers and pesticides remains on the fruits and vegetables. And then when you eat it without washing that particular food item properly, then that's how it gets inside your body. We have several types of utensils which can leach chemicals into the food. For example, when we are using a vessel in microwave, it is said that the plastic is slowly getting leached into the food. Or even the frying pan coating, many a times it comes off and that again is a contaminant. It's a chemical contaminant. We can have chemicals entering into the food from our environment. So from the environment, some oils can be added into the food, industrial oils or vehicle exhausts during the transportation of the food. These are all different examples where it's from the environment that it is getting introduced into the food. There can be some unapproved food additives. So we can have food additives which are approved, which are approved by different types of agencies. And then there are other additives, other chemicals that are added to increase the flavor or the color or the texture of the food. But then these additives are unapproved and they may actually be chemical contaminants. From the packaging material, so this is again an extension of the utensils from the packaging material. The, if the packaging material is coming in direct contact with the food, it has been told, for example, corrosion of the metal cans or any kind of stabilizers or plasticizers that are added in the packaging material, there are chances that they can, these can leach into the food, these can enter into the food and be present as a chemical contaminant. Water that is being used for the cooking or water that is being used for any kind of washing, if there are contaminants in the water, for example, arsenic, aluminium, lead, fluoride, radon, if any of these are present in the water that you are using in the kitchen area and that water remains and you cook food with that, then automatically from there you are getting the chemical contaminants into your body. The next set of contaminants are the physical contaminants. Physical contaminants are those which you can actually see in the food. So this includes plastic pieces, it can include metal pieces. Metal is the most important physical contaminant in food. It can include stones, glass pieces. Apart from this, there can be bone fragments that are found in the food. Jewelry can be found in the food. Jewelry of the person who is, 
you know, cooking the food or serving the food, if that falls into the food, that again is an example of a physical contaminant. There can be feathers of the animal that are found in the food, hair of the animal or of the person, of the human who is handling the food, fingernails. These are all examples of physical contaminants that can be found in the food. When we say metal as a physical contaminant, it can come from the loose screws that are there in the equipment or it could be some kind of flaking paint as well. So these are the reasons why a strict dress code is always mandated in a food industry to maintain proper food hygiene to ensure that nothing, none of the physical contaminants enter into the food. The problem with physical contaminants is that they may not cause an infection, but then they can cause bleeding. At times, it can cause choking, it can cause injury. Sometimes if there are stones and you bite into the stones, it can cause broken teeth. So they do cause some kind of injury or damage to the person who is consuming the food. The last type of food contaminants are allergenic contaminants, those which cause food allergies. So the, such contaminants are called as food allergens. What do they do? They cause the immune system to trigger and act against it. So the immune system is now over here hyperactive. It is acting, it is triggered up and the reactions are much more enhanced. It is usually occurring. These allergenic contaminants usually enter into the food due to cross contamination from some kitchen equipment or due to the person who is handling. That's how they enter into the food. And these are the common food allergens. The, it includes gluten, peanuts, eggs, milk, soy, fish, mustard. These are the common food allergens that can be present in food. So these four types, that is the biological, chemical, physical and allergenic contaminants are the four types of unwanted substances or materials that can be present in food and which can harm the person if it is taken in. I hope to see you all in the next video as well. Bye.